Hey boos and welcome back to It's Told by Ray. I am your girl Ray and this is my YouTube channel. Big Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Also, do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time I post. You want to be notified so that you can be a part of the Ray fam, aka the littest fam in the motherfucking YouTube land. And that is just on period. Please do not forget to follow me on my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter will be linked down below in the description box for your convenience. Because a bad bitch always leaves links, okay? Please do not forget to also follow me on my Twitch as well as join the Ray Fam Discord. Would love to see you guys there, period. So, today's video we're going to be doing on my blog episode 3. And, yeah, I mean, that's that's what it is and what it's going to be. Y'all already know what to do when that bad bitch step up on the scene. My say is, is giving. Outfit is giving. Face giving. Dad, Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wait. Uh, that's me. I'll be back. I'll be back. I like that her dad got like somebody else. Or you could tell that the stuff with her mom really bothered him and messed with him. So I'm glad that he was able to find someone and move on. Have a baby. Like, really give his best life. Mario's gonna be bummed. He missed your last Christmas. Well, he wouldn't be if he got off his high horse about the commercialization of Christmas and came home to see his family. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that fool. It's not like you're leaving forever. No, I want free ridges in my rear view. I'm not looking back. Because we share everything. Clothes, makeup, oh, political opinions. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we even cycle together. She's not talking about spinning, babe. No, more like all 50 girls in my dorm room getting their periods at the same time. Which sounds like hell. Can you imagine that 50 bitches being on a period at the same time that you are? I would fuck mm. I know it's only been two years, but I feel like I finally found my people. Oh, hey, uh, do you remember this? Do you know who would love this? Oh, no. No, we are not waking up the baby. The sitter is picking him up for the party, and he needs to be well rested. Wait, party? Is that code for y'all are getting freaky? Did you not tell her we're having a party tonight? By the way, we invited some of your friends tonight. Jasmine was the only one that RSVP'd, and she can't make it. But Ruby and Jamal's folks are coming, so maybe they can join. Maybe? I mean, we're not close anymore. But she will be. That's what all friends do. They pick up right where they left off. First of all, I would be really upset with my parents because if I told you that I'm not fucking with who I'm not fucking with, ain't no way that you inviting them and they people over talking about some, oh, but who knows? Y'all might get back together. No, I told you I'm not fucking with them. We don't talk, so we don't talk. So why are you going to force us to talk? Like, what is what is that giving? Nothing. And Caesar, was he invited? No. We only invited your friends. Monse, I mean, yeah, Monse's dad kept the same energy for Caesar throughout the entire series. He decided he ain't fuck with Caesar and did not fuck with Caesar. And it was just what it was going to be. What's taking so long? Hi, hey, Ruby, take a chill pill. Is that what you're both wearing? <laughs> Whatever, we don't have time to change. Boxed wine, really? Hmm, I guess you don't want to keep these friends. Take the night to yourself and stay home. We'll say hi to Monse for you. No! But she could misinterpret it. I've been drama-free for months. I'm not trying to invite that back. I'm having a lot of feelings about Monse's party. Mainly the feeling that we shouldn't go. And knowing, like, that we know, like, you know, Jamal had that thing with Monse. As Jamal, I'm not showing up neither. His suit is actually really fire, and I needed to say that. He looks really fucking good. I don't know what they did this season to Jamal, but it is giving, and I love every second of it, okay? But back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to go to Monse's party anyway, even though Monse's vibe does seem different, but they don't know that right now. 
You can't avoid Monsi forever. Trauma with her doesn't just go away. It's like a zit. It comes out of nowhere and it only gets uglier and worse until you pop it. On the contrary, popping a zit will just spread bacteria, causing even more zits and possibly scarring. The holidays are for spending time with your friends and getting high. Okay, since we're all just chiming in on things that are none of our business, I've noticed you've been really tired this week. You need to stop staying up so late at night on Bumble. That's when I find the best honey. Mm. I love their friendship. It's like the cutest thing ever. Yes? I just wanted to drop this off. Well, I don't think it's appropriate to be accepting gifts from you considering our circumstances, but... Thank you. Oh, it's not for you. It's for your parents. Because some asshole distracted me from getting my passport renewed. Oh, shit. Who's the asshole? You, dude. Anyways, I gotta go. <laughs> Ignore Monse. Not us. Don't give Monse my regards. Okay, have fun. Michael. Jasmine was a bad bitch, low-key. Even though she's been annoying for these last couple episodes, I don't know. They, I don't, they really, yeah, she was the baddest. <laughs> oh, there she is. Let's go. Maybe we should let her settle in first. Hey, how's it going? Well, well, well. You look different. Oh, I'm a good different? Mm. Haven't decided yet. Jasmine, Mia, how are you? Oh, wow, you look so beautiful. Did you like our gift? If not, we can exchange it. Or if you prefer cash. No, I, I like Amazon gift cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough chit chat. We're gonna level with you. Ever since you broke up with Ruby, he's been a bit more difficult. You need to take him back, Jasmine, please. Listen, I appreciate the offer, but you got your facts wrong. Ruby broke up with me. If your parents is begging your ex to take you back because you are that fucking annoying, so something needs to be done. Some, something really needs to be done. Just can't deal with inquisition from Ruby's parents about her breakup right now. Oh, shit. I didn't know you guys broke up. And why would you? You've barely spoken to me in two years. <sighs> so what's been going on? You want the whole lowdown since you dipped out of town? Yeah, lay it on me. Okay. So you left and Caesar got all up in the Santos. But Ruby, Jamal, and I were cool. Till one day Jamal peaced out. Next thing we know, he was playing football and every girl wanted to smash him. Then every girl was smashing him. Then he ran against Ruby for class prez and called out the threesome we. But it drove a wedge between us and then we broke up and now I have no friends because I put my relationship above everything else. <laughs> okay, hilarious, but really what's going on? No, that is what's really going on. Oh my God. People actually want to sleep with Jamal. I know at least four girls who have. Come in. We've got a serious problem. We're having a Christmas karaoke contest and we need more singers. You in? So in. But first, Brandy needs us to run to the store because she's out of... Uh, Brandy. And chips. <laughs> You're going to have a great time at Monte's party. I'll catch you later. What do you mean, catch you later? I'm being a good friend by encouraging you to go to the party. But by actually going, you're choosing her side and being a bad friend to me. This isn't about Monse. Clearly, there's unfinished business with Jasmine. Glad we got that cleared up. But I don't want to ruin my night by dealing with Monse. And I don't want to ruin mine by not dealing with Jasmine. He doesn't want to deal. I, I get it. I'm a lot. True, but so is he. Ruby's a triple size serving in a bite size package. Ooh, more like a Magnum package. Ugh. She said Ruby got the Magnums on deck, the gold pack. I see you, Ruben. She compliments me, uh, like 10 times a day. Mm -hmm. And I like pink seeds. But he never saw me or valued our relationship. He said that he lost the me and we, but what he really lost sight of is the we and we. Detox, get him out of your system. He's problematic and you can't fix a problem unless you're willing to confront it. So confront him. Christmas is the time to tell the truth. But we need alcohol. Oh, and one thing, Mona Mardukas is MIA and possibly DOA. Oh, no worries. Mona can rest in peace, cause Whitney Hightower's in town. Okay, I see you, Whitney. Is it really that easy to get a fake ID? Like, if you know somebody who knows somebody, can they get you a fake ID like that? <laughs> um, check me six, we got a stalker. <laughs> oh shit. What's wrong? Who is that? Where to begin? So after you left, oh shit, she's walking a lot faster than I thought. Um, anyway, she's here. This girl don't even look the least bit of intimidating. And if Monse really wanted to try, she could have beat her ass. And Jasmine at the same time too could have also beat her ass. So the fact that they were uh, like so afraid is really just throwing me left. Can we help you? Are you Monse? Um, uh, we're kind of having a private convo. So I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, okay. What's your problem? You. Well, I'm not afraid of you. Period. No, she's trying to start shit. Hey, what's going on? 
Vero, let's go. And then, like, this Vero even approaching her gives, like, you already know that she could take your nigga if she wanted to because why did you have to approach her? She wasn't even thinking about Caesar. Like, why are you thinking about her? Like, why are you so on her nuts that you just know that as soon as she touched back in town, all of a sudden you got to press her because you know that your man Loki still want her, but you know that's none of my business. <laughs> no, I am really high. <laughs> Slow your roll. We gotta get you back to Mayfield in one piece. Mm, says the lightweight who passed out after half a bottle of rosé. This is bullshit. I used to make triple this till Cochillos gave away my territory to those pinche assholes from 19th Street. You were sad I didn't talk to her. I have. This is what she wants. Maybe we should just take it back. You don't need to question her. There's that cabrón in that Jack Smiley's car. Speed his ass. Not now. Next time. You gonna let him slide like that? Can we just go home? I don't want to be here anymore. Give me a sec. You're not actually going to beat him up, so let's go. Come on. You taking orders from your piece now? You want to ask her about my cash, too? What is it with you taking orders from bitches? First of all, okay, none of the gang members in this season put fear in my heart. Like, I feel like first season, some of them, if they would have been talking to me spicy, I might have been afraid. But, like, Caesar with this bitch-ass little deep voice that he trying to put on, that mean he hard. And then this guy, again, with the, like with these deep voices, like, they hard. It's just not given what the show thinks that it's given. That's how you broke up with him last year? And for him to do that in front of Monse is wild as shit. Especially since he know that Monse not even about that life. Like, he know that she don't want to even see him involved in that type of life. So why would you do it in front of her? You had, like, multiple opportunities to pull up on somebody and do that. When she was not there. But you chose to do it in front of her. So, in my personal opinion, it's his fault he got broken up. Because why are you doing that with her? It was just too weird and painful to talk about. I was so naive about the whole thing. I... I didn't want to think Caesar was really changing, but he did. Thought I could save him, but all I could do was accept the situation for what it was and choose to stay with him or not. And I chose me. Period. <laughs> we love a Monse that chooses herself. She is such a different vibe this season, and I'm fucking with it. You're really not going to spend any of it? No. I almost have enough to pay them back. Then I never have to think about them again. So you still think about them? No, I don't. You're just thinking about her. I'm not. Of course he is. We should call 911. He could die. Oh, come on. He's not going to die. Trust me. I just sent him a message. Because Joker told you to? Hey, he didn't tell me to do anything. I made the call. Yes, with me in the car. I'm calling an ambulance. Not doing shit. Oh. <laughs> Caesar think he bad y'all bro what is this like voice it's uh, it's really bothering me and what get make like where did he get balls from like I'm really confused this is not Caesar from season three this is not giving love me enough to make me an accessory to assault period to put my future in jeopardy is that love you no you make this work and now you're deciding not to no i'm not doing anything except taking care of myself yeah i wish that you were right or die no i'm not i'm not caesar because the truth is unlike you i don't want to die and that is a factuals. Why do niggas be talking about, oh, be my ride or die, be this, that, and the third? My nigga, why are, where are we riding to and why do I need to die? Has always been my question. Like, why do I have to be prepared to die? It just don't even make sense. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And Caesar knew that Monse wasn't about that this entire time. So the fact that he's even, he even thought that including her or having her even be there while he did something like that was smart and that she was gonna be okay with it is baffling to me. Do you think it's too late to drop in on the guys? Oh, it's way too late. 
girl. I hate being single. Excuse me? Who are you? What the hell have you done with Jasmine? I was always single because I had to be, not because I wanted to be. Jasmine, what do you do for you? <gasps> oh! I've actually gotten soups into collaging this month. Imagine if you took all the time that you put in others and instead put it into yourself. You could be vibrating on a whole new frequency. Damn, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Maybe. You'll finally see yourself. I like Monse. I'm gonna say it again for the folk in the back. I like Monse. I don't know how she got so much character development and everybody else seemed to be just like stuck, but her, it's beautiful. Mon said before, every time she opened her mouth, it annoyed me because she always had some dumb shit to say or some stupid shit to say or some just some shit that is just like, why are you saying that to say? She was always overreacting to some shit. Like, it just made me upset. <laughs> it did. I can't lie. What would I have done? Told her off? <laughs> I could have told her off. Damn it. Uh, Ruby's sacking out after his whack out. So, uh, how about some D? <laughs> <laughs> Dateline. If he's not Keith Morrison, I'm not in the mood. Oh, since when are you not in the mood? Now. You need anything before I go? No. Okay. Tuck, no tuck. Duck. What's with all the insurer? What's with all the snooping? Oh. <laughs> are you, uh... Replacing the energy drinks I put in those go bags I gave you. Yes. Good call. They're probably expired. Mm. Okay. And so, oh my God. Why am I getting emotional like a little bitch? Hold on. Let me get myself together. And so from this moment on, I kind of got the vibe of what was about to be the whole thing with um, Ruby's grandma. Um, I kind of felt it coming. Oh, it's you. What do you mean? Was someone here? Monse. You know, it's the holidays and all, and I wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Cool, at least not me that. <laughs> Actually, I didn't want you to be all alone. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm not alone. I'm actually in a new relationship. With who? Me. What? I've done a lot of thinking, and what you did was the best thing for both of us. So you're good? Oh, I will be. Have a yeah, you too. Oh, baby, just in time to judge the dance contest. Come on. I love you, but I am too tired and you are way too drunk, okay? Don't worry. We got plenty of time to get you on the floor now that you're home. Yeah, right. yeah you got me. So winter break is over. Winter break? We got you longer than that. Why are you telling people stuff? Her, her, I'm, I'm talking about her dad. Why are you telling people stuff without first telling your child? That's how shit gets spilled and then they find out. But I called this too as soon as they was giving each other looks. Honey, honey, don't, don't worry. That's what I felt about the season. The shit was so predictable that it's just like, bruh. I can't send you back to Mayfield. What do you want, Hamal? Abuelita, are you sick? Don't tell Ruby. Thank you guys for watching episode three of On My Block With Me. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this reaction. Please do not forget to, like I said in the beginning, like, comment, and subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every time I post a video. Yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, boo.